Hey guys, how's it going? Mega Lugia here, one of your announcers for the MPL, and today, people, we are back with week four of the Pokemon of the Week, the series where we focus on the best performing mods during the previous week of battles, analyzing what they did so well and how they were able to work on their respective teams. They may not always be the mods with the most skills, but also looking at their pressure during the match. Make sure to let me know if there are any MVPs you should make it, and without further ado, let's get into it. So kicking off the list today, we have a familiar member being Vaporeon from the Anastar Umbreons coached by Mystic in their match versus the Blackthorn Frogadiers. Now Vaporeon was on here last week for pretty much the same reason it is here this week, annoyance. Vaporeon is a wall that will not die with good recovery and a spammable move in Scald. On that note, we see Vaporeon here in versus Electrifier. Vaporeon is switched in on it, a risky play, but is able to tank that Ice Punch. Now in this case, Electrovire is forced to switch out because it, in is, it is indeed Scarfed. Vaporeon laughs in the face of potential danger. A Tangrowth is switched in and is forced to take a Scald. What happens next? Yep, Scald Burn. This was crucial for residual damage. A bit of a stall fest goes on here with Wishes, Giga Drains, and more Scalds. The Tangrowth is then switched out into Electrovire, praying for no burn, but wouldn't you know it, it happens again. To add insult to injury, an overprediction again allows Vaporeon to take it out. Vaporeon was pivotal because it dealt enough damage for Mystic's late game sweeper to come out in come out in the end and get the guaranteed KOs that it needed. GG. Next up we have Infernape from the Baltimore Braviaries, coached by Moxie Infernape. I see what you did there, in their match with the token minorities. Infernape was scarfed and preserved very well to the end as a late game cleaner. So Infernape is sent in versus the Mega Swampert. It's already pretty low so it's easily taken out with a close combat. What comes in next? It's the Doug Trio. We already know it's Life Orb, so Scarf Ape outspeeds it and will take it out with a close combat. No Circle Punch, which, would have in, which wouldn't have done that much either. Two down and Miltank comes in. Close combat and I'm sorry man, that chopple is not enough to save you. One more mon left, thunderous, and what even is a resist? Close combat comes through and the ape is able to pull off 4 kills this week. GG to Blake. At the number 1 spot, fellow Pokemon trainers, we have Mega Gyarados from the Viridian Beedrills coached by Dench in their match versus the St. Louis Sableyes. Now some of you may be wondering. Why I've chosen Mega Gyarados as the top Pokemon when it didn't do it much in terms of knockouts? Well, Mega Gyarados single handedly saved the game for Dench. So the situation was Scolopede in versus, Dench, in versus Dench's Rotom. He switches it out into the Gyarados to get a very clutch Intimidate off before he gets behind a sub. That's very important to note. Obviously, Scolopede now gets a speed boost off, and that is just the beginning. Dench chooses to switch out into Latios because he knows Gyarados is important for later. Scolopede proceeds to knock it out. Fast forward later and Breloom is in versus the Scolopede and Dench switches out into the Gyarados again to lower that attack to minus 2 with another Intimidate, further hindering the Scolopede. Like I said, without these Intimidates, Scolopede would have been a neutral attack and outsped everything and knocked out all of Dench's team, especially behind the sub. To add to that, Mega Gyarados swiftly dodges the Megahorn, allowing it to bring the Scolopede down to a very low HP and picked off later in the game to stop a potential destructive sweep from happening. Gyarados was incredibly vital this week and it, all it needed was to be its intimidating self that it is. And there you have it guys, week 4 of the Pokemon of the week. A very interesting list if I do say so myself. Make sure to comment down below letting me know what you thought. And until next time, thanks for watching guys. Mega Lugia here, checking out. Peace!